Hey everyone, my name is Nihar and I'm from the build committee. So the way build is structured is we have five leaders. We have two safety captains, Akul and Nikolesh. We have one build leader in training, Akshat, and we have two build chairs, myself and William Skako. So what build does during build season, during a typical build season, um, is our main focus is to obviously build the robot. But before that comes, we have a lot of other responsibilities. We have to prototype mechanisms before they go on to the final design. And we also have to build field elements so we can test those mechanisms and our robot as a whole. So as for size goes, build is one of the biggest committees on 1089. So, but it's good because we also have a lot of tasks to do. Uh, build works very closely with many committees. Some of the main ones are design. Build and design are very interconnected in the things they do and both of them depend on each other. Also, we work with strategy to prototype those mechanisms and figure out which mechanisms and game tasks to accomplish, and we work with programming to uh, test our mechanisms as well. We also sometimes work with Spirit if they need any um, banners or stuff built or repaired. So while we know that this might not be a typical build season, I hope you guys are excited and more details about build will come soon. So just be sure to check Slack. And thank you and have a good day. My name is Jack Cardoso. I am a senior at Heights High School. I am one of the two leaders of the design committee, the other being Tyler Lucas. Uh, the design committee is relatively small compared to most other committees. We have about five to six members year round. Um, we have a lot of responsibilities, the first of which includes um, during preseason teaching our new members the fundamentals of design. So that's the engineering design process and some basic computer um, 3D modeling skills. Um, we then, when build season starts, go to work with strategy on uh, develop a plan, kind of what we want the robot to look like. Um, we then go to the whiteboard um, within our own committee and with the help of building strategy to kind of develop um, a few different ideas of what mechanisms we want to use and stuff like that. Um, and then as a design committee, we go into the computers and start drafting up some 3D models of our designs. So we kind of simulate what we want the robot to look like in 3D. Um, and while we're doing that, we develop a bill of materials, which is a kind of a list of everything that's going to be on the robot, or everything that already is on the robot, including the um, items, price, and dimensions. Um, we then go and work with Bill to help on the assembly of the machine, um, because we are the ones that know probably the most about the robot. We can help them kind of put it all together. Um, we work with programming to figure out where they want their electronics to be, because that's really important to the robot's success. So as a committee, we're really relying on communication. Um, we work with, like I said, programming and build as well as strategy to kind of just like incorporate all their needs into the final design of the machine. Hi, I'm Aiden Sharp. I'm the leader of the Programming and Electronics Committee on Team 1089. Um, I'm co-leader with Ishak Miran, and our committee has about 10 members each year, so it's a pretty average size committee. Um, during build season, our committee does a lot of the wiring and programming of the robot. We also work a lot with the electronic components on the robot. Um, we work very closely with design and build to make sure we know what the robot's gonna look like so we can program it and then when build is done building the robot, we can wire it up. Um, so programming and electronics is a very fun committee. Uh, we do a lot of technical work, but it's also uh, a great learning experience. So please consider joining. Once again, I'm Aiden Sharp, and thank you. Hi, my name is Julie Tuline, and I'm the one and only head of the Spirit Committee. Unlike the other major committees like Build Design and Programming, the Spirit Committee is relatively small and only has one leader. We work with a lot of the imagery and visuals that go along with the team. So during build season, we do things like work on our display case, uh, create buttons, posters, and banners. Uh, we also develop and maintain stand gear and cheers for our competitions. We also do decorations for the FTC competition Snow Day Showdown hosted at the high school, and we come up with ways to develop and maintain team spirit and camaraderie. During the competition season, everyone on the team basically becomes a member of the spirit committee as we all um, share the stance together and show our team spirit and appreciation for the team, for robotics, and for STEM in general. We don't have any close ties with any specific committee on the team, however we do work with them whenever it's needed and we all work together to achieve the same goal. Hey everyone, my name is Rayvon and I'm one of the four leaders of strategy and scouting along with Tim, Karthik, and Kyle. If I had to describe my committee in one word, it would be data. 
Every build season, we start by analyzing the new game, breaking down its rules, and teaching them to the entire team. We then work side by side with the design committee to come up with the parameters for the robot, which puts into motion the process of designing it and getting it built. After that, we move on to the bulk of what we do during the build season, which is making our scouting materials. You'll hear much more about these in detail later, but for now, just know that it takes so much discussion, debate, and doing to accomplish these. We also work side by side with the programming committee to come up with autonomous paths for the robot that are used during the competition season. Speaking of the comp season, we also have a big part to play during this period. We run scouting at comps to gather huge amounts of data that we then use as a committee to come up with winning strategies for the drive team and the robot on the field. We work with design and programming mainly. And as for size, we had about seven members last year, but I'd love to add more this year. Thank you. Hey, I'm Arjun and along with Rachel, where your PR heads for the public relations committee. Well, you might be wondering what does public relations do? It's a relatively small committee um, that you can kind of join as a secondary committee with like build and programming and still not have a lot of conflicts between them. Um, we handle a lot of general tasks involving business, like the business plan and interacting with sponsorships so we can get the money for, you know, the build and programming spirit aspects. Um, and we also do a lot of um, award submissions. So like if you want to submit an award for the business plan, for outreach, or the chairman's award submissions, we got all of that covered. I think the most exciting part of public relations is um, interacting with the community. So like we organize all the public outreach events. We did like a riot summer camp and a holiday party. Most of the public relations members are responsible for organizing and really in the bulk of interacting while also organizing other team members to help get things done. Hey everyone, my name is Parker Benick and I'm the leader of the media committee on Team Mercury 1089. Um, I'm the only leader of the media committee, which is reflected by our extremely small committee size of just a few members. However, we do have plenty of members who treat media as a secondary committee. For example, if they work for a tech committee as their primary committee, uh, when they finish all of their work responsibilities, they can come to us. We'll typically have something to do for them once they finish all of their work for the other committee. Uh, in terms of our main tasks during build season and competition season, for a typical season, of course, our responsibility will be making videos during build season. These are our Mercury Minute videos, which are our weekly updates on the progress of the team and the robot as a whole. And during competition season, these would be our recap videos that we would make after events. We are also responsible in collaboration with public relations for the chairman's award video for the chairman's award submission. And at the end of the year, whenever we have our appreciation night, we also put together a video for that. As well, we also run the social media accounts for the team, which include our Instagram, our Twitter, and our YouTube. The committees that we work with most often are public relations and spirit. However, we can work with tech committees depending on what they want. For example, if programming or build wants us to film a mechanism running to see what's wrong with it or something, we can do that for them and then show the video to them. Or if strategy wants us to record a specific robot during a competition, we can do that for them and they can analyze the footage at a later date.